Well, Michael, ultimately a, a frustrating afternoon. Yeah, very frustrating. I didn't think there was a lot in the, the first first half. It's a bit of a stalemate, and then we've give you know a cheap goal away, and then they break on us and got, and got the second. And you know we huffed and puffed in the second half, but ultimately we lost the game in them them few ten minutes. Mm. First goal, well, you were in a position of, of relative strength, and just a shame that the, the shot seemed to bubble its way into the bottom yeah, corner. Yeah, as I saw it sort of went in slow motion. I didn't know whether it was going to creep inside the post or hit the post and come out. And unfortunately for us, it, it just creeped inside. Um, you know, he got his shot away just about, everyone was pressing him and I think it went through three bodies and then tripped the inside of the post, so it's disappointing and then, you know, to concede the seconds a sucker punch and mm -hmm. it gives us a big big hill to climb. Mm. What was your view of the penalty? Um, you know, I was chasing back, I think he probably had an eye on me and he's just slowed right down and I think he's played for the contact um, rather than thinking he could have just tapped it in, but, you know, if I'd have stopped, I think he'd have just rolled it in, so it was a bit of a catch-22 and once the refs blown and, and give the foul you know you're just hoping that he gives the yellow card unfortunately we we stayed with 11 men mm. and you were much brighter in the second half it was a real positive start to that second yeah I think we give we give everything we made the changes you know they probably backed off us a little bit and gives a little bit of extra room you know a bit deeper but um you know we tried everything we changed we changed our formation we changed the sub so there wasn't a lack of effort it just didn't get the rubber to green and didn't have enough quality to to get a goal mm. it did have the feel the longer it went that if you could get yourself back into the game then you could have a chance of an equalizer because they were they were a bit nervy in that yeah, second yeah definitely shooting into our fans as well they were really loud and we just wanted to create some momentum with that and and like you say if we'd have got the goal you know it would have been a real Real um, test for QPR whether they could have could have uh, kept on to the three points. Mm. Relatively unfamiliar situation for you guys. You haven't been two 0 down at half time for a long time. So is, is it important to put it into context and think? Well, actually, this season has been very productive. Yeah, I think we know. You know, we've put ourselves in a great opportunity, and that's why it's more disappointing because you want to go on and, and carry on getting points and, and getting further into the playoffs. And you know, we're just outside at the moment. I think there's an opportunity to get a bit closer to to the teams inside and unfortunately we haven't taken that but you know there's still a long way to go there's a lot of games to play and hopefully we can put another run together mm. some big games coming up as well including next Thursday against Hull yeah I think it's a it's a difficult game but our home form's been really good uh, of late and um, we tend to do well against you know the the higher teams in the league, so we take confidence that we can we can get something at home there. And just finally, 3,000 fans here supporting you. It's always a, a good ground to play at, especially when 3,000 away fans support you. Yeah, they're really close to the pitch and they were trying to suck the ball in and unfortunately we couldn't give them anything to cheer about and I do think it would have been a great atmosphere if we'd have got the goal and, mm. and um, chased down for that second, but unfortunately it wasn't to be.